What is up guys, Yellow Gamer here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 20 of my MLB 17 The Show, Road to the Show series. Now, in the last episode, we got swept by the St. Louis Cardinals, who are currently, I mean, they're pretty good, right? Uh, yeah, they're the one of the best wildcard teams, and that was why we needed to beat them in order to kind of uh, get closer, at least, in the wildcard race. Sadly, we obviously threw that opportunity away by getting swept, and we're now seven games out of a playoff spot on the wildcard. Nine games under 500. The Braves are only a half game worse than us, and I left them with the the hopes of actually getting to a better team. And ever since we got to Diamondbacks, they've been playing even worse. So I don't know if it's the curse of my guy, and I just make teams worse, or we really are just slumping that bad. So with that in mind, we need to come back here a little bit stronger. We got to get some good games going, uh, and we don't have a pretty easy schedule coming up. If you look, we got we pretty much have hard teams for the first half of this month. Cubs, Dodgers, Giants, Cubs, Astros, um, and then it ends pretty tough too with the Mets, and they have a phenomenal pitching staff. The only real, really easy series we have this this month is probably against the Twins, but it actually looks like the Astros have a pretty bad record too. Um, outside of that, though, all these other teams have great records, so our best chance, and maybe even the Mets are struggling a little bit. So this little road stretch is our, our best hope to uh, to earn a. Uh, they're in a playoff spot and we got to win all these other games we, we just got to have a great month honestly and there's no better way to hop into it than try to get a great month going right now you see, you'll see we'll be batting seventh in the lineup um and we're going up against the chicago cubs so this is obviously the the um the champions uh the cubs obviously won last year so they're probably coming back pretty strong they, they, <laughs> they definitely have a very good team um, and we're gonna have to try to find a way to outplay them. So it's not gonna be very easy Looks like Chris Hyannis on waivers for us looks like we might either we're releasing him or we got him I don't really know what's going on But he might he might uh, not be on the team for much longer With that being the case, we're gonna be playing in Wrigley Field You see they have a record that's about 20 games better than ours. So they've been playing light years better than we have And we're starting off the third inning down one to zero and we are yet to get a hit on the game Lefty on the mound, Mike Montgomery. And also we're that first pitch cutter. A little too low. He's got a full five pitches. That's that's pretty good. Let's see. Ooh, that was a pitch to hit. Into the last episode pretty good. In the last episode against the uh What team were they playing? It was the Cardinals. Yeah, we finished four for five in the last game against them. Still obviously unsuccessful as we walked away with the loss. But uh, that's... Oh, we just caught a break. The catcher just dropped that ball. Okay. A chance here to still get a big hit. Catcher just gave us a major break. Not swinging at that sinker. This guy's actually yet to hit the strike zone against me. I just chased two very close pitches. Had I not swung at them, we could be on first base right now. Oh, that was a pitch to hit, too. How, how did that... Oh, wait a second. How did that bat boy get that ball? It just wait. Okay, it looked it looked weirder than I thought it did. Okay, my bad, my bad. I thought it looked way funnier than it actually did. Let's see, oh that's a pitch to hit, and we're not really gonna hit it. Hey, we're just gonna get underneath that one pretty easily, and we're gonna fly out. But ugh, I'm telling you, those are pitches that we need to be capitalizing on. And that's why it's sometimes frustrating is that there's just there's just pitches you know your guy should be driving and he's just not. And you don't really know how to fix it. And that was definitely one of those at-bats. Here we go. Though. Okay, get under the ball. You can do it. And we're going to make that catch. Great reaction, really. My guy just ran in circles for like 15 seconds before he caught the ball. But great reaction, I guess. Um, we're going to activate ball in play. We're still yet to get a hit on the game. So with that runner on first... Considering the fact that we uh, we're struggling to get a hit, I need it. I need to use every perk I can. This guy's having a great game. This Montgomery. The sad thing is our pitcher's doing great too. He's only given up one run in the fifth inning, so it's time for us. We, I mean, we got to give our pitcher a chance. This is where it's frustrating too. Is I feel like whenever we score a lot of runs, our pitchers give up a lot of runs, and whenever we don't score many runs, our pitchers don't give up many runs. So it's just like we always lose close games. Right there. Ugh, we're, okay, that's a, I mean solid contact, but. Straight to the third baseman. We scored a run there. Okay, now it's two to one. See, this is what I'm saying. Is every time we score a run, we give up a run, so we always lose by like one run whenever I'm playing. 
Well, that was a bad swing. It's just I'm tired of losing by one run. I just want to win a baseball game. Oh, that's a good splitter. That is, oh, that's Koji Uihara. Pretty good pitcher. Nope, okay, he's trying to get me a swing on a high fastball again. All of his pitches are like the same speed, so I should be able to drive one of them. And solid contact again. Once again, straight to Chris Bryant. They're not even going to credit me with solid contact. So we have to keep moving on here. And we're going to lose that game. So, can't say I'm that surprised. We actually score on the top of the ninth to make it 2-3, to three, but obviously, once again, we like to lose by one run, so... We, yeah, we still lost. So another game against the Cubs. On a, I think we're on a five-game losing streak right now, something like that. And Arietta is on the mound, so this is not the best opportunity for us to try to break that losing streak. Oh my good, a 95 mile an hour sinker? You gotta be shitting me. He's 12 and three with a 1.95 ERA. That's unbelievable. So we're playing probably the Cy Young top candidate right now. Him and Kershaw are probably beefing that right now, trying to get that Cy Young award. And God, dude, these singers are fucking unhittable. He's all throwing them, he's throwing all of them in the same spot, and my guy still can't react and hit it. Dude, that fucking singer, I swear. It is so fast, and my guy cannot like connect with it. And okay, yeah, I'm gonna strike out. <laughs> Ever yet is fucking dirty. That was ridiculous. Okay, it's tied 1 1, so we actually were able to get a run off of Arietta. We're trying to kill that ERA. We'll see what we can do. Okay, yeah, that slider sucked. I just gotta hope that he messes up somehow. Oh, that was it right there. Right down the middle. Our guy's gonna connect. With Arietta, okay, I wanna go three, but with Arietta on the mound, you really just gotta take whatever. You can get, oh, we, we would have gotten three. That was an awful throw. Like I said, though, you got to take whatever you can get with a guy like Ariad on the mound. And with only one out, I don't want to make a stupid decision and get thrown out at third when, obviously, all we need is a single to score anyways. So now we're on third regardless. I guess we probably could have scored if we went for three, but you just, you never know how things are going to pan out. Um, so I just don't want to take that risk. And now with Oscar Hernandez up to bat. All we need is a blooper or something, some way get the ball to drop, get him on first base, and get us home. He's just going to take a walk, actually, so it's going to be runs on first and third. Now a big at bat, big opportunity here. Oh, it's Tejon Walker. Damn it. Okay, so we got our pitcher up to bat. You know, actually, I need to check something. Okay, now I'm batting sixth. For a second, I thought Walker was not batting ninth. And yet, no, Arietta's going to strike him out. Walker was actually batting close to 200. I want to make that. I want to mention that. Like, he's a pitcher. He's almost batting 200. That's pretty impressive. But now we're down 3-1. We have... Yeah, oh yeah. It's, oh, right. We have Tejon Walker on the mound. Obviously, that makes sense. So he's going to strike out. And then he's going to give up a couple of runs. So he's just on a roll right now. I want the ball. I want those points. Thank you. Poor reaction, but still three training points. I'll take it. 3-1 still, now Hayward up to bat. I'm just, I'm still frustrated though because we're losing. I'm just tired of losing. Oh, Hayward's pretty fast. We're going to fling one over to first, get him out. Now Arietta. oh, it's 6-1 to one now. And we got a, a guy with a 10 ERA in. How phenomenal. Arietta, yeah, I'm going to throw you out. Another great snag by Goldschmidt over there at first base. He's been saving our ass this season. So we've we've been throwing some awful throws. I don't know why. But now a 6-1 to one game. Slider right down the middle that we, we misconnect with. Just end up foul tipping that one. He's throwing his pitches right down the middle. Can we please hit one? 
the change up. I just I, my timing was bad on that, but that ball could have been whoops, absolutely destroyed. And okay, I try to check swing, but we're gonna strike out there on a drop third strike. And we're still down 6-1. Arietta is just absolutely railing through our lineup. We were still able to get a big hit against him, but... I mean, that's... No. Did I not step on second? No, I did. Okay. For a second, I thought my guy didn't step on second. I was about to, I was about to lose my shit. That would have been so stupid. We're going to play ball and play. Try to increase our chances of getting a big hit. Uh, let's see. He's gonna give me on that high fastball. This guy's windup is not is not easy to, to uh, get used to. I don't like his windup, so I'm gonna just hit him in the knee and get him injured. <laughs> so there we go. Took a nasty shot directly on his shin bone, but he needs to be removed from this game. May need a day or two. So there we go. That's how we help our team out. We injure the pitcher. You know, you just gotta do what you, you do what you gotta do sometimes to win games. Looks like he's still in the game though. I don't know what the game's saying. Dude. They suck at throwing to third base. I should just keep taking third. Yeah, no, he's still in the game. I don't I don't know what went on there. I think it might have just been a glitch. He's probably fine. Or the uh or the, the Cubs organization is just saying a big fuck you to him. Because they really don't care that he's injured. But there we go. Now we got bases loaded. Maybe him being injured is about to save our ass. Because it might cause him to lose some of his accuracy. 3-0 count now. Bases loaded. He's going to walk him as well. So I'm going to get walked home. Our first run in I mean, at least a few series. We have not been scoring much. And we're actually now up 8-6. We have a seven run inning. This is my second at bat of this inning. So Edwards Jr. really blew that game. Ever since we we injured him, really, we just started an absolutely crazy inning. Okay, yeah, we, we just went off on him. Us injuring him may have just made a residual impact. Don't want to say that. Uh, obviously, I'm... I could be just uh, saying whatever I want to say to make myself feel better. Feel like I made the difference in this game, but I think I might have. Obviously, we started off the inning with a hit and injured the pitcher, which I think changed his his. Uh, I think it ruined his overall because I don't think he should have been in the game. I think the Cubs were supposed to take him out and it glitched and he, the, he stayed in the game because the the thing is said he needed to be out of the game. Here we go, three one count. Hey, if he doesn't want to give me a pitch to hit, I'm not swinging that. Ooh, that was a good. Okay. Not really a pitch to hit, but good location. So now a 3 2 count. Still waiting for our pitch. We don't need to force anything. Yep, don't need to force anything. I'll take a walk. Now he has Monty Thomas. I'm just. I'm so happy that we just had a big inning there. He's down 6 1. I thought for sure we're about to take another L. Oh, that's a horrible swing by Thomas. But who cares? 7 run inning. Probably the best inning I've experienced throughout all my road of the show. That's just, I'm really happy there. So with that being the case, now there's two outs in the eighth inning. We have a pretty good chance, at, I would say, here to uh, to win this game. Nice little dribbler over to me. Fire this bad boy over to first. Not the best of throws, but good enough to get him out. And, oh my goodness, we blew it. Okay, we tried to blow the lead, but now we're up 9-8 to eight in the 10th inning. Our team gave up two runs in the bottom of the ninth. Why are we so bad? I just stopped letting Fernando Rodney close. I just put me in as closer. I've never pitched a game in my life. I have 99 arm strength, so just let me chuck some 105 mile an hour fastballs. Who is this on the mound? Oh, Yui Hara again. I guess this man just does not get tired. Oh, that's a... That could have been a pitch to just absolutely destroy. 
Got underneath that one a little bit too much, so Hayward's going to get that catch. And obviously nothing going there. <clears throat> but we still are going to walk out of here with the win. That's all that matters to me right now. We're going to win 9-8. Pretty awesome game for us. I think that could that, that could definitely be a step in the right direction in that game. Because we won a game that we were not supposed to win. Our current series has ended, really. So, actually, well, it's going to end then. Our series, or this series is going to end. Well, it's taking a big step in the right direction. Um, we'll see if the coach says anything real quick. It seems like we're, we, we are getting benched like one game a series. It's probably because we're a rookie. Our coach is probably trying not to overplay us, which is understandable. Um... Oh yeah, they had us not play the last game. We lost five to one. Um, in the Giants series, we're gonna be going up against Bumgarner, then Quato, then Samarja. So we got a pretty talented uh, rotation that we're about to go up against, and we're currently eight games out of a playoff spot. So we need to pull something together. We'll see what we can do. If you guys enjoyed, please click that like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of this series and what I can do to make it more interesting in the comment section below. And lastly, subscribe if you have not already. Stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.